Well, we're going to uh, start a little project for the winter, I think. Pick this up at my local hobby shop. Broadway Hobbies are in Everett, Washington. Thought it was kind of cool. Old Chevy or GMC truck. Let's see if we can zoom in here so you can get a little closer view of it. So, uh, let's go this way. Oh yeah, there you go. There we go. You know, old plow on it. I don't know if I'm going to build it with the snow plow or not, but it's a short bed. I'd prefer a long bed, but that's just me. But uh, I like that old round headlight look on these trucks. You know, I got an 84 with the stacked quads, but but uh, yeah, we're uh, we're doing us a little bit of a project, I think. I'm uh, off for the next few days. Yeah, should I was gonna say I'm gonna go down to see the folks. I could drag this along, and continue the videos, but I don't know. I may just keep this here at the house. So it uh, hasn't been opened yet. One thing I noticed, I haven't bought a nice little kit like this for a little while. And, well, this is a Ravel GMC pickup with snowplow, 124th scale. I usually like to build 125th scale, but this is just pretty darn close. But uh, one thing I did notice is the price. Is it focus in there for you guys. Oof. These things used to be like 9, 10 bucks. But, oh well. Just with age, everything needs to get better. One thing, or one other thing I did pick up when I was there, I grabbed uh, one of these magazines. I haven't picked one of these up in a long time. I know it says build better muscle cars. There's a couple articles in here on uh, painting. And I might want to try a couple of them. I was, uh, get my airbrush out and clean them. And, uh, one of them, is this it? Uh, you know, a couple of articles in here on how they're using uh, paint out of a spray can, which you know, they're spraying it into a, a glass and, and put it on. And, and then uh, one article in here, how he gets it out of the can, puts it into an airbrush, and then sprays it that way. And so, yeah, I'll be using some tips on this to do some painting on the truck uh, for the body and whatnot. Uh, I think what I'm going to try to do is if I got the airbrush out, I may try to do this in the, uh, you know, winter time on the road dirty, nasty, scuzzy looking paint scheme, but let's go ahead and pull out the old trusty X-Acto knife here and crack this puppy open and see what's inside. We're not really going to start much tonight, just want to get this box open. We'll probably do this as a multi-part series. Something to keep things going. I'll be gone for a little bit over the holiday season here, so not a whole lot of project, or no, not a whole lot of progress after this video for a few days, but it is the holiday season, so uh, of course the garbage cans over there. Yeah, I made it. So, and I've got lots of kits that I've started, but I thought, you know what, let's pick this one up and had a few requests from people say, hey, how do you paint stuff? How do you build these things? First thing I notice is they've got good rubber tires. I've got the K5 uh, Blazer, a couple of kits like this, but they've got the plastic two-piece tires and I hate those. So these are not the best tires in the world, but I think we're going to go ahead and use them. Old Goodyear's. So, uh, showing up too much there, but yeah, we'll get into that a little bit more. One thing, uh, one other thing I also want to pick up is, uh, what do they call it? Some Jewelers adhesive. I think that's what they're using to put the lenses and whatnot in, rather than glue them and get them all fo foggy with CA glue or whatnot. There's your plow details. So there's the, uh, the truck cab. Let's slice this open. It's got a roll bar for the bed. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put this thing together. I haven't really sat down to build one of these in a while, although I did some with the, the semis there, but I didn't really show a whole lot. you got to assemble the bed sides onto the interior of the bed itself. I see it's got a little bend there, so I'll have to worry about straightening that out. Looks like the tailgate does have nubs on it, so it will drop down and rotate if we so desire. And a little bit of flashing to clean up, I don't know if it's showing around the brake light. Openings there, probably not, but 
Actually, I kind of like that the sides are separate from the bed because if I just oh, get you in the field of view, if I decide to distress the bed like uh, sheet metal damage, it's going to make it a little bit easier. So, just something to uh, keep in mind there. Set those aside. There's the cab. Of course, I also noticed the back of the cab is not on, so we'll have to be gluing that, but. That's my favorite style Chevy truck right there. The old square body. It's going to have the big, ugly looking hinges, but we're not going for a show winner here, people. We're just going to build us an old Chevy truck, or GMC truck, excuse me. What we got in here? This is all your frame, your side saddle tanks, like all your axles and everything. Got to get my little sprue cutters out, too. There's the frame. Let's see, it's already got dual exhaust on her. And we may try to put some different uh, exhaust tips or whatnot on it, but the old side saddle gas tanks that everybody was freaking out of a, year, a few years ago being side swiped and they'd explode, even though that was all fake. And then uh, yeah, front and rear axle, fan, radiator hose, got the uh, wheel backings there. A lot of this stuff, I'll usually just spray it right on the uh, on the trees, just do it in flat black, and then once I cut it off, I'll touch it up. There's uh, your motor, transfer case, dashboard, rad support, valve covers, heads, radiator, jerry can. Probably won't use that, or I might throw it in the bed. Some roll bar detail. Looks like we got eight shocks, uh, fan belt. There's fan belt detail and whatnot. Got some nice uh, push bars on the front there. We may use those instead of the uh, brush of the uh, snowplow. And then there's the back of the cab and covered spare tire. We're not going to be using that. Tie rod linkage, sway bars, front and rear. And then uh, your interior tub, just a bench seat. So it's got the uh, squared off hood, the neater looking one. And then uh, it's got some decent looking wheels. Almost looks like some Mickey Thompson style truck wheels. Kind of like those. I may jump online and see if anybody's got any aftermarket, a little more newer tire. But uh, there's the, I don't want to show up too much there. Can't really see on the screen, but focus. It's not really showing, but a little bit more newer style. Let me stand up here. Maybe we can get her to... Doesn't want to focus. And the chrome, there we go. There we go. It's a little bit nicer looking wheel. It's got good bumpers on her. Bed rails. Got them almost the camper style mirrors. We'll probably use those. There's a GMC grill. Get you in the field of view here. Not sure if I like that chrome steering wheel. I didn't see the uh, standard bar style Chevy truck wheel. I may have to dig through some of the older kits. Oh my latest video is up for is finally saved. So yeah I got a couple off-road lights on there. Looks like it's a fuel injected motor. A little high-rise manifold there. But uh, yeah a couple of chrome mud flaps or something. But uh, I don't know. Like I said we may just use the three-spoke steering wheel little custom bit. Uh, I've got some off-road tires but I don't know what the diameters are. They're kind of the super swamper style but they may be a little big for this. And then I got to try to figure out how to lift the, the suspension on it but I don't know. We'll see what we can play around with. And of course you got your instructions. We're going to be going through these. <coughs> Here's kind of how they've got the truck set up. Almost like K5 Blazer look on the back with the jerry can and the spare tire carrier hanging off the back but I'm not going to do that don't care for that look on a pickup it's got the uh, snow plow looks like the front end I may be pushing that out just a little bit because I know these Chevy I'll get you in the field of view again here these 4x4 Chevys the front ends are a little bit wider than the back track so you know, we may play around with that a little bit see what we can do but you can see it's got the, the roll bar with the off-road lights there we may put that in 
decal sheet, glacier plowing. I don't think we're going to be using those. What's the big one there? BLG Lawn and Tree Service. 24 hour radio dispatch. Got the red and white uh, uh, reflective style safety, whatchamacallit there. It's got Colorado and Illinois plates. Nice GMC for oh, that's the front window or the rear window. We may put that on. It's got some nice striping on it too. GMC logo for the back. But uh, doesn't say what year this thing is, but yeah, it's just going to be a mid to late 70s. So, should be a good little project. I'll just kind of go through how I paint things. It's got a nice paint guide in here, part name. Nice little instruction book. I've updated that quite a bit. Uh, I don't know, we may go through step by step, or I may just try to film a bunch of stuff and then put it in step by step. But just some a little bit different. Yeah, she's running quad shocks, duels on front and rear. Hopefully it's showing up here. I like those wheels, but like I say, I may try to see if I get get some different tires. It's got that nice newer style. And I don't know, I may, if I get a good paint job on this thing, I may just keep it clean. Would like to try to make the undercarriage look like it's you know been off road a little bit and got some some seasoning to it. But uh, a little bit better shot there. You can see the wheels with it, but get you in the field of view. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to use the plow, but we'll just get ourselves a nice little short bed GMC. I keep wanting to say Chevy truck. So. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pack the decals back up, put them back in the instructions. Now you're going to see the D unboxing video. Just get all the white bits. Like I said, we're not going to start this tonight. I think I got to get some paints. Hobby store said they were going to be open tomorrow, so I may swing by. I uh, don't know what I got for paints out in the garage. I'll have to look tomorrow. Put the chrome bits back on top. Actually, just throw them back in the bag. Try to protect them a little bit. And you know, the glass lenses. Looks like it may have a sunroof option. Or I gotta get some clear red and orange because you get the side marker lights and the uh, tail lights there aren't colored. Front and rear glass. So I may. I got some spray tint I can put on the rear glass. Always like my pickups with tinted rear windows. And the tires, so get those set back in there, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get this fired up. And uh, I may not even put this up right away, I may just wait. Yeah, let's put up 13 minute video. So, there's a quick overview of the Ravel GMC snowplow pickup that we're going to build, minus the snowplow. I think just put the little brush guards on the front, <laughs> kind of go for a mix of new and old. It's got the nice newer, like I could say, the Mickey Thompson style wheels on it. But we'll keep the old style push bars on the front and a little roll bar on the back. And it's got a nice little CB antenna on there too. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we will have a blast putting this together. Grab my remote because I hardly ever use this thing and shut you guys off. We'll catch you here in the next segment. Bye-bye.